OpenMW version 0.31.0 has been released. Like, a long time ago, this video is really late. This release is huge, by the way. Uh, I'm showing you now the change log as it appears within the release announcement for this version on our blog. I suggest giving it a read since I won't cover anywhere close to all of it in this video. And without further delay, let's have a look at some of the highlights in this release. OpenMW now has support for an animated main menu. I'm demonstrating this with the awesome mod titled Daggerfall Animated Menu by a modder whose name now appears on screen which I cannot pronounce. Thank you for all your hard work. OpenMW now renders precipitation and weather-related particles such as rain, snow, and ash. No, don't eat the skin, for God's no. sake. You don't know where it's been. He said it was fresh, but I it was a rock. It Who cares kind what of like kind of rock? The player can now use their journal during dialogue with an NPC. What's this about? NPCs and creatures can now engage one another in combat. This can be both helpful and amusing. Just as in vanilla Morrowind, hostile entities now base their aggression on both their distance from and their disposition towards their target. In other words, enemies won't attack unless their personal space is invaded by someone that they don't like very much. You will die. There have been some improvements made to our game saving and loading systems and our file format. I'll list a few of them. There is now a delete button on the game loading interface that lets you discard your unwanted save records. Before now, there was still some information like the player's known spells, their active spell effects, AI settings, and summons not being saved. Pretty much all necessary game states should be getting saved now. If you find something that isn't, please file a bug report. Morrowind has a fog of war applied to its map, which means that details on the map aren't drawn until you actually explore them. The fog of war state on the map is now saved so that you will find it exactly as you left it during your last play session. We now save instances of leveled creatures so that we don't have crazy things like extra copies of scribs spawning on top of themselves anymore. We even remember whether the player was walking or running at the moment when they saved. Can't help you, stranger. Surrender now and I must let you live. The 
crime of murder is now properly handled by OpenMW. This provides a convenient way to advance your bounty to exceptionally high levels. After a certain point, guards will rush out to stab you dead as soon as you approach a town. In Morrowind, certain items in some merchants' inventories are meant to be restocked daily. OpenMW now handles this. The merchant's gold pool is replenished as well. Your followers can now travel with you when using the various fast travel services available in Morrowind. more suitable clothes before venturing out? The music system has been updated to start playing designated battle music when the player enters combat. <laughs> Moving on to OpenCS. We showed some initial rendering capabilities in the last release. Now, we can render objects as they are actually placed in interior and exterior cells. Other capabilities such as rendering terrain will of course come in future releases. I'll also note that there are now proper icons for different lighting modes. The icons on the navigation buttons are still placeholders. Items from the Referenceables table are now deletable. Just right-click on the record that you want to delete and choose Delete Record. The table for enchantment effects is now implemented. The table for, um... Body Parts is now implemented. That's all for now. For more information about the project, please visit our website, openmw.org. Until next time, thanks for watching.